In this lecture, I'd like to take a couple of minutes to talk about the microcontroller that will be controlling this Arduino car project. So the SunFounder 3-in-1 kit comes with an Arduino Uno compatible board like this one here. So this is a fully compatible Arduino Uno and of course you can use it and it will match perfectly the provisions here on the chassis. It should go this way so that you can mount this Arduino Uno compatible device on your car. In addition to that, of course, you can always use a genuine Arduino Uno. Uh, the mounting holes are exactly the same, and this is actually the board that I will be using in this project, and you'll be seeing later on in the videos that follow. So this is the board that I'll be using. Now, in the last lecture, I also mentioned that you can use an Arduino Mega, even though the board is longer, the mounting holes that are important are these right here which are compatible with the Arduino Uno board and I've cleaned up the chassis a little bit from its components so you can see how it fits nicely on the board uh, so I'm just going to align the mounting holes onto the spaces and you can see that there is a perfect match and there is clearance between the board and the wheel so those two will not interfere so what i like about this option is that there are a lot more pins that will allow you to explore other options other experiments uh, with this same car configuration on the same chassis in one of the experiments in particular i found that we were kind of pushing the limits of the Arduino Uno in terms of its RAM memory capacity. And with an Arduino Maker, you can go a little bit further in that regards. You can have more complex projects that depend on more complex sketches running on your Arduino. So these are the main options. Now, in addition, of course, <laughs> there's more you can do. If you are feeling adventurous, and you wanted to try other Arduino boards as well. For example, the Arduino Zero, like this one here, this is an M0 Pro, or you can find it today as a modern Arduino Zero board. It has the same form factor as the Arduino Uno, so it will match with the uh, provision for the mounting holes on the chassis, but this gives you more computational power, more capabilities compared to the Arduino Uno, so you can experiment with running a robot, an Arduino robot, on a more advanced board such as the Arduino Zero. And uh, speaking about modern boards, here's another example. This one here is the Arduino MKR Wi-Fi 1010. This is one of the most current modern boards in the Arduino lineup. And you could use one of these with your Arduino robot, with your Arduino car, the problem here is that the mounting holes are not going to match and then you will have to improvise other ways to match the chassis with a board. For example, one thing that you could do would be to design an adapter on a CAD drawing program such as Tinkercad and then print that adapter on your 3D printer. This is not an adapter for this particular use, but it's just an example of a design that I made that allow me to build on the chassis in order to accommodate additional needs that the designer of the chassis did not anticipate. And you could do the same thing for a board like this. Now, one thing to remember if you are thinking of doing something like this for this course is that all the sketches that I have prepared to show you work on an Arduino Uno and in particular on a Arduino device with the Atmega 328P processor or microcontroller on it. The sketches for the Arduino Uno R3 will also be fully compatible with a microcontroller such as the Atmega 2560 that you'll find on the larger Arduino Uno variant, the Arduino Mega. So you can be sure that any sketches that run on the Arduino Uno will also run perfectly well without any modifications on the Arduino Mega. But if you choose to go for something like this, like the Arduino Zero or the Arduino NKR, 
then you may need to make some modifications to some at least of the code in the sketches. For example, the code that works with the Wi-Fi adapter on the Arduino MKR is going to be different to the code that utilizes Wi-Fi breakout adapted capabilities that will be looking at the Arduino Uno option. So we do have an experiment later on where we use an ESP8266 microcontroller to provide us with Wi-Fi capabilities and that code will not work with the MKR1010. You'll have to modify that. Another option that you have, I don't have unfortunately the board to show you the physical board, but you can have a look at it on the Arduino website, is making use of the modern Arduino Nano microcontroller, which comes in a small form factor. It's about the same size as the Arduino MKR. But the advantage of that board is that it uses a microcontroller that is essentially the same as the one on the Arduino Uno. So you'll be able to use the Arduino Nano without having to modify any of the sketches. Still though, you will have to figure out how to mount that a smaller microcontroller on the chassis. You can, as I said, use an adapter, design one on TikiCAD. I think that's going to be a pretty good exercise for you. Well, another thing that you can do is you can just drill holes as you see fit, as you need on the existing chassis. It's just the uh, thin plastic here. You can easily drill through it and add more uh, mounting holes as needed for your project modifications going forward. Okay, and having said all that, we can now uh, continue with the next few lectures in this section where we'll have a look at the individual components that make up this project. Mm -hmm.